Hi, welcome to your Tracing a Logo in Adobe Illustrator class. My name is Jorge Esparza and I apologize if my English is not as good as you hope because it's not my um, primary language, but I will give a try. So uh, let's get started. Um, this is the third class of a 16 week uh, course and uh, this are our, our, our objectives and the objective one is uh, we will learn how to create a new artboard um, which is the space where we are going to work as you already know because uh, in the first classes we uh, check all these uh, topics of user interface and basic parameters and our objective too is the benefits of placing an image instead of just open it. The objective three uh, is the uh, I call the amazing pen tool because it's the tool that will allow us to uh, create our shapes and the objective four uh, we will uh, get familiar with layers and layers will allow us to um, arrange our project and our project uh, elements and components uh, for make our work easier. And our objective five is uh, adding color. So we will uh, add some color to our shape after we uh, finish it and our objective number six is matching colors using the eyedropper tool in order to obtain the very same color of an existing color that we uh, existing color that we have in our uh, artboard in illustrator and our last objective is uh, publish our work in a format that will allow us uh, to um, share it with everyone else and they will have no uh, problems to open it and uh, see it, okay? So our skills, what we will learn, we will learn to create a new artboard, placing an external file with the place tool, trace a shape with the pen tool, use layers, fill a shape with color and the contour basic properties, get a color from other element in the artboard with the eyedropper tool and export to PDF with the export command, okay? So uh, this class is about tracing logos and if we are just getting started with Illustrator, it is hard to uh, design our very own logos. So we will start tracing some logos that we are familiar with. Um, there are some examples. Logos are images and shapes that refers to uh, a company or, uh, or a brand or an event or a team. As example, we have here this Batman logo. We already, uh, I think we all know it. Here is some um, earphones logos, this coffee shop logo that I'm sure you are familiar with. These are the Olympic uh, rings logo, also uh, very uh, common. We already know this. And some sports teams. This is my favorite basketball team. This is the San Antonio Spurs logo. And all of them can be traced with Illustrator. And it's very possible that uh, all these examples were uh, traced in Illustrator by the uh, person or the um, design office that designed them, okay? So let's get started with Illustrator. Okay, um, I apologize also because my Illustrator is in Spanish, but I will uh, try to translate it for you and you will have an illustrator class, an illustrator class, and uh, maybe a uh, kind of uh, a Spanish class. So, uh, okay, let's get started. We will start 
as our objective set with creating a new artboard. So we're going to uh, file new and we will choose a print profile in a, a letter uh, size of paper. We will we want to see this in centimeters and uh, the orientation is okay, it's vertical and the color mode is CMYK uh, because uh, we want this for printing, okay? And the uh, um, resolution is 300 uh, points per pixel because we want to print it after and we want a uh, good uh, quantity of pixels, we want quality and uh, this is it, okay? So we will push uh, or click OK and here we have, we will zoom a little bit, okay? Here we have our airport, okay? The next step, as our objective said, let's see, it's placing an image, okay? So why we will place an image and don't open it? Because if we open it, it will be part of the file of Illustrator, but if we just place it, it is an external reference and it is not part of my uh, file and it will not affect the size of my file. So I will go to file and I will check for place, colocar place, right over here, okay. And it's a little uh, bit small because of the pixels of the original image, but it, it's okay. I will scale it with shift press it in order to maintain proportions. Okay. And here it is. Okay. Okay. Um, now I will uh, uh, lock this, um, this layer. Okay in order to do not move it um, without an intention, okay? And now I will create a new layer here, okay? And this layer will contain my new shapes, okay? I can uh, rename them. This layer one will be named as uh, place it logo and this layer will be named as traced logo okay now if we check our objectives again we will use the amazing pen tool and we uh, uh before this class we already um check the uh, shapes uh, tools that are these ones. Do you remember that rectangle shape and ellipse, sh ellipse shape and polygon shape? But now we will use the pen tool that is this one, okay? And we will uh, use it for trace this logo, okay? But um, here is something that I consider that is very important because I believe that all of our shapes must be traced with the fewer points possible, okay? So I will start doing it. So I will start um, putting my first point here, okay? And then I will click here and drag my mouse in order to get this curve. Okay, now I will do this. Okay, and now I will put it right here. Okay, and we will place a point when the curve change its direction. Okay, so over there, over there. And here, this is very interesting because we don't have a continuous curve. 
we have a change of direction so I will just click here okay and I will now drag over here okay I will not be worried if the shape is not uh, as accurate as it should be I will um, correct it later so I will put another point here okay not dragging because I don't want a curve over here and I will drag here because I want a curve over here and I will close the shape now okay great we have a very similar shape of the original logo but right now I will uh, make some corrections in order to get this shape as um, as similar as possible okay so I will use right now my uh, direct selection tool this one it's different from my selection tool because my selection tool selects all the shape and my direct uh, selection tool allows me to select point by point okay so I will check now some of my points that are not as um, accurate as I want to such as this one okay I will enlarge this uh, this uh, element okay this extension of the point and these controllers con uh, controls the direction and the uh, uh, amount of the curve so I will right now move the uh, the point, the central point and I will move these elements in order to, sorry for that, command C okay and I will move a little bit this one okay so we right now have a very similar shape of the original logo now I will trace another shape to get the leaf okay and I will start with another uh, shape start here I will place a point here and drag it in order to get this curve and here and here and I will close it okay and uh, I will do the same procedure that is uh, select each point individual with my uh, direct selection tool I will click over here and I will drag this one here and drag these curve extensions, these helpers okay and now if you can see we have, oops sorry we have our traced shape over or in front of the, uh, the placed logo okay so now if I choose this one I can I will check my objectives again so we already get the shape and now we get, uh, we will get organized with layers that we already did that in a very uh, general way okay we have only two layers but this is very important each layer can contain sub layers in this case is this one is called shape or in Spanish trazado um, this trace uh, I can um, rename it as leaf and this one I can rename it as apple okay and in this way I can uh, arrange them which one I want uh, I want at the top of the list and which one in the bottom remember that the top layer or sub layer will be at the front of the of the rest of the layers okay now I will add some color okay 
because if we, we check our objectives, our objective five is let's, let's add some color, okay? So we have two very important parameters that is the fill color, okay? And the contour, to the contour color, okay? And the fill color will fill the inside of my shape, okay? I will select this brown, okay? And this one here is the color of my contour, okay? I want this like um, in orange, okay? I will, oh, sorry, I have to select the shape and then select the color of the contour, okay? Now you can see if I get closer, I will reshape this a little bit because it's not what I want. I will move this one a little bit here and this one over here. It's important to get close to get close uh, to your artwork in order to see these little details that maybe you can't see them if you are like far from the uh, from the trace. Okay, so you see this orange over here. This is the sh the color of the con the color of the contour of the shape, and I can make it. Um, bigger okay i have to choose it and this one is seven points okay but if i check i will select these two with uh with shift we already know this and move it okay but these colors are not the similar of the original okay the original has a field color but it does not have a contour, okay? So we will choose both or of shapes and in contour, I will tell Illustrator that I don't want any color on the contour, okay? So it's now all uh, filled with color. And if I want the same color that the original image, I will choose both of the shapes and I can use my eyedropper tool or in Spanish cuenta gotas or gotero, okay? And uh, I will click on it and then click on the color that I want, okay? So in this way, I will have exactly the same color that the original, okay? If we check of our objectives, we have matched the colors because we uh, we already use the eyedropper tool to obtain the color of the placed art. Now it's time to publish digital. Why publish? Because not everybody has Illustrator installed on their machines, and uh, many times we will need uh, to send uh, for any reason do you want this this work. Um, and the people who receive it must be able to open it. And we can export it as an image or as a PDF file. In this case, we will use PDF file because I think it's the most versatile and the most um, common uh, document that allows to open shapes, okay? so. Right now, I don't, I don't need any more my placed image, so I can just click on this little eye to turn it off, and I will select these two, okay? And it is a good idea to, uh, to group them, okay? So we can go to object and then, cl and then click um, group, it's here or press Control G, or if you are in a Macintosh or in an Apple uh, computer, you can press Command G, okay? Now it's grouped. We can see it here in our layers that there are no more to separate shapes. It's called Group, Grupo in Spanish. So I will click on it, and if I click on an element of the group, 
it will select all the elements in the group, okay? So I will place it over here in the center of my artboard and then I will go to File and click Export and in Export I can um, save it or export it in a lot of um, files that are very common just at the JPEG or uh, Flash or Photoshop or any of these, maybe AutoCAD if I want to uh, incorporate it or to an AutoCAD file or send it to an, an, a, numeric, a numeric control machine to, uh, I don't know, cut some um, panels of wood. But in this case, I will click Cancel and I will go to File, Save As, okay? And I will choose not Illustrator, uh, Illustrator file, I will choose PDF, okay? And because I have only one artboard, this uh, this option for artboards are, is disabled. If I had more than one artboard, it will be enabled, and I will uh, it will allow me to choose if I want just uh, save one artboard or all the artboards or like individual artboards. Okay, so I will name it like App Logo. Okay, with PDF, I will click now save. We are here in our right direction. This is the right folder when where I want to save this file. I will place save. And now this is one of the things that I, mo I uh, like more about saving in PDF that Illustrator give me some options like a very high quality impression Yes, uh, we have uh, some PDF uh, uh, previous year versions. We have print quality, and this is the one that I like for sending uh, this PDF over the net that is the smallest file size. I will click this one, okay? And I will uh, click Save PDF, and uh, it tells me that if I save this document without the edition capabilities of Illustrator, it is possible that some characteristic of edition may be disabled. That's okay because I don't want to, or, or it's not my intention that this file will be opened with Illustrator. I want to be opened with like um, Google Chrome or Adobe Reader or any program that allows to open PDF files. So I will click OK. It's creating the PDF and if I check them here, okay, I have my Apple logo over here. I will open it and this is Adobe Acrobat Pro DC and I have over here in a very good quality my logo and I can now send it uh, to whoever I want. Okay, so it's now your turn to do this exercise. Um, if you have any doubts right now, you can ask me. If you uh, um, have something that you don't agree, you can give me a thumb down. Or if you agree with something that I say that that I already said, you can give me a thumb up. And I will uh, walk around of uh, of the classroom. I will uh, monitor your work. And please uh, feel uh, feel free to ask me whatever you want about this exercise. And don't be afraid if you don't get the result as as perfect as you want to be. Uh, it's okay to make mistakes and. Uh, we are here to trying to achieve. We are here to learn Illustrator, and we are here. We are here to have fun and learn about tracing logos. Okay, so uh, you can start now, and I will check your work um, right in this moment. Thank you.